Oh, hey guys, welcome back. We're in day two of National Travel and Tourism Week. We hope you're following along. Today we are focusing on arts and culture and taking you to Kirkland Arts Center. Follow us on Facebook or visit Oneida County NY. Follow us on Instagram at OC New York. We'll also be using the hashtags CNY Getaways and OC New York. Thank you, see you out there. Well, good afternoon. How are you doing today? Very well, thanks, David. Lovely to, to be with you. We have down it from the Kirkland Arts Center, and I absolutely love driving into the village of Clinton and seeing the Kirkland Arts Center. I'm a member of the Clinton United Methodist Church, and I know that was our original church location, was what the current Kirkland Arts Center is today. Um, so right. when when did the Kirkland Arts Center get founded and established here in central New York? December 10th will be our 60th anniversary. It started out in the top floor of the, the town library and then moved to what was the Methodist Church in Clinton. And I always say everything happens under the only steeple on the green in Clinton. <laughs> yeah, it's an amazing facility with pottery studios, dance studios, our gallery for exhibitions and live concerts. And um, we've print making photography, all sorts of things. You have all sorts of classes and one of them is mm -hmm. the pottery class. Well, we have a um, full program for all ages and people can sign up at our website. We have a pretty extensive pottery studio with lots of um, pottery wheels. We have some local potters who actually um, avail of the space to use as their own studio in exchange for some oversight of the pottery studio. Are you doing anything virtually online right now? Kind of that taste of normalcy? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we're trying to be creative there. We have our hashtag stay home, make art initiative. Beautiful. Yeah, we're hoping people will just um, post to at Kirkland Art Center, um, whether they're painting or singing or uh, making fabric arts or whatever they're doing, if they could post to our hashtag stay home, make art, that would add to that program. Stacy is our oil painting teacher mm -hmm. and uh, she's going to lead an online sketchbook challenge starting in the coming week, which will be fun for people to, to engage with. And that will be out on our Facebook page and web page and Instagram. We've availed of our arts uh, supply, scavenged from that. Uh, a lot of fabrics and notions and things and left them out for people to pick up if they'd like to make masks. Oh, that's that are nice. Sort of, um, yeah, in a, in a more creative way. Michaela Bly, who's a storyteller, mm -hmm. and she's going to offer a virtual workshop on the second Sunday in May. What would you like Central New Yorkers to know about the Kirkland Art Center and how it does affect tourism here in our area? We have a really magnificent gallery. It's a beautiful space and we um, have exhibitions of local, regional and national artists and opening receptions on Sunday afternoons and people do come from far and wide for that. This year launched a second Saturdays uh, series with live music by artists again from across the Northeast region but also featuring local artists. Brand new sound system, great new lighting system and very comfortable seating and I think just generally people like to come to the area, to Clinton, to see it as a place where the arts are alive. We're proud to be part of that. Well, beautiful. Thank you so much for joining us down. It can't wait for our lockdown to end and uh, mm -hmm. maybe I'll get my hands and get my kids involved too with some pottery. I always <laughs> say get messy, make art. <laughs> there we go. Well, thank right. you so much That's for your time today. Have a thank great you, day. David.